It is Monday the 5th of December and I'm going to go to the gym. Yes, I'm trying to start healthy habits. Let's see how long that lasts. Um, in the news, uh, I got these recently and they are fantastic. I'd heard about APL sneakers for a while, but to be honest with you, they're not a big thing in the UK. They are incredibly light. They are so, so comfy. The comfiest trainers I have ever put my feet into, truly. These are the stre Streamline? I don't know, I will have them linked below. As usual, any items in this video shall be linked below or will be in the view products. If you click view products on the screen, the little shopping prompt, that should be there too. So yeah, I really like these. And let's get the day started. Welcome to Vlogmas week two. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, you might enjoy yourself. Right, okay, so what am I doing today? Right, okay, Cassie, stop procrastinating, go to the gym. Okay, fine. I've got my coffee. I don't know what it is about these sort of, you know, ribbed, whatever it is, glasses that just make everything feel so fancy. I'm gonna film, I'm gonna film some TikToks. Then what else am I doing? Then we're leaving the house today. Yes, we are. I haven't been to the Louis Vuitton 200 Trunks, 200 Visionaries exhibit and it's closing at the end of the month. So now is the time. I'm gonna go with Christian. We're going to have a little Louis Vuitton cultural evening. So we'll do that this evening. On the way there, I need to get wrapping paper for presents. Um, I also, and I want to go to Saks for that because I haven't been to their little sort of Christmas trinkets display and I might want to grab a bubble or two from there. She's done her filming, she's done her TikTok, she's even edited a little something or other. And now it's time for lunch. What am I going to have for lunch? Well, I'm going to make myself my world famous, within my head, chicken soup. That sounds boring, doesn't it? And you're like, oh, chicken soup? I only have that when I'm ill. What a boring meal. Wrong. The way I make it is very delicious. Okay? I'm just gonna say it. Welcome to episode whatever of Cooking with Cassie. And today we have my favorite chicken soup. Neil, what do you think of my chicken soup? Oh, gosh. You don't believe that chicken even should be in soup. Exactly. And yet, what is that that you're eating? It's a bean and pork something. Mm. Like masquerading as a soup. That thing is a chili con carne. Now, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a stick of celery. This is for a one person soup. Celery, carrots, onion, uh, half. Uh, what? Are you about to give a food tutorial? Yes. You. How you dare you? You don't rate me. I can cook, actually. You just don't like the things on my menu and that's not my fault. First things first, you are going to season the chicken, okay? I'm a big believer in this is what really takes it to the next level. Nobody wants a sad, white, boiled chicken breast. That's the worst thing in the world. To season our chicken, this is important because I made a rookie error, do not add salt, and I'm a salty gal. You are going to add whatever seasonings you like. I like a bit of paprika, a bit of onion powder, a bit of garlic powder. Why are you laughing at me? So yes, do not add salt because you've got the salt from the stock cubes and all of that. And believe me, my first round, it was much salt, okay? And to be honest with you, I tried to power through it and it was inedible. I'm gonna use the same bowl for everything. On a medium heat, add a bit of olive oil, little bit of butter, just, just a little bit. And by little bit, I literally mean like this, okay? In she goes. Then, we're going to do two minutes on each side, then we're going to cover it and do eight. Now, you're going to finely chop these three and that. I'll be back when I've done it. So, my chicken is now doing its thing in the pot. And in terms of how much of any of these vegetables, how much you feel comfortable with. If you like an oniony soup, you go full force with the onions. If you want six cloves of garlic in there, you do it. Another thing that you can do is, we are going to do two, well, we're actually gonna do three, but we're gonna start off with two cups of water to one, be it nor, whatever is your breakdown of stock cubes. So get that in with some hot water. Once your chicken is ready, you are going to take out said chicken. Oh, see, it's got some color on it. It looks good, it looks interesting, it looks like it's got a story to tell. Okay, 
and turn everything down to low. With whatever bits are still in there, you are going to add a little bit of butter once again, and then add your mirepoix, okay? Your celery, uh, onions, and carrots. Add those in. I'm gonna add those in first. I'm gonna wait for those to do their thing for a bit before adding in garlic. Now, shred your chicken. When you are happy with that, at the stage of your vegetables, add your stock. So two cups going in. And let that do its thing. You're gonna put it back up to medium. And now we add the shredded chicken. Get that going. So really, the only other thing we are now going to add are optional. Pasta, do you want a chicken noodle soup? In which case, pasta of your choice, I've gone for a mini farfalle. If you are going to add the pasta, then go to three cups. If you're not going to add the pasta, two cups, honestly, for one person is probably enough. This is the state of affairs, bubbling away. To be honest with you, if I was in the UK, I would use a little bit of bisto, a little bit of chicken bisto in it, just to thick out a little bit. But, right, so now I'm going to add pasta, one handful. Taste test time. Grab a little bit. Adios. Love you. Okay. Delicious, but it needs a little something extra, which is where your bouillon comes in. So I'm going to just do two. Don't ask me how much that is. It's a tiny amount. Do I? Do I just, a, just a tiny bit more. Just one scoop. There we go. Okay. Lovely. I probably eat this about twice a week. It's my favourite thing. It's comforting. Should we do a taste test while I'm waiting? Okay. What is this going to be like? I've never had this before. The concept, I don't like the thought of the eggs bit, but I do like the thought of it being very creamy. Okay. It smells of nothing. This is limited edition eggnog, ultra pasteurized by Hood. It tastes like melted vanilla ice cream. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh. It is, that tastes exactly like a vanilla milkshake, basically. So here is my soup. Fabulous. Everything is ever and he has not unpacked from <laughs> his trip. So I need to reposition my hair clip, but Linda Farrow, Matthew Williamson sunglasses. This little cashmere crop top from Merrill Roge, Rodge. Uh, these frame cargoes, I've put a long sleeve underneath this that I am nice and cozy. This jacket, that is Nicole Benisti. And then my old Chanel. And we're off. We are in Saks and it is looking fabulously festive. Look at the fabulous iridescent stairs. I mean, this is here permanently, but I just love them. Okay, so we are going to go to the little Christmas ornament section. Saks Christmas Market. All chocolatey things. I want ornaments and wrapping paper. Look at all of these. You've got Saks themed, you've got New York coffee themed, hot dog stands, pizza. Ooh, this is quite aggressive. Where does this start? Is that a tree chopper? Okay, this I have absolutely. Oh, God. Okay, before I break it, put it down. Thank you very much. It's interesting. Sort of a half. An optical illusion. Maybe that one's quite nice. Do we prefer? That's nice too. Oh, and we've got another sort of indented one. I don't know if I like this or not. Do you want to know what that, well, that took longer than I expected. And it reminded me of the scene in Love Actually, where the um, Alan, Alan Rickman's trying to buy a present for the girl that he's flirting with at work and Rowan Atkinson just keeps like, adding the final flourish. That's how it felt in there. I was like, oh, I don't need the, I don't need the tissue paper. But I felt bad because she was really trying to make it pretty. I am here at the exhibition. It's singing. This thing is happening, and I'm waiting for Christian. Back to the 
back with my brother from Brothers. another mother. How are you? I'm happy now that I see you. And you know, better. you know, I got a comment that was like, "Oh, what in this light?" No, my, no, no, no. My oh. orange matches the background. <gasps> oh, it does. Yeah, okay. Did you plan this? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> I got a comment that was like, "Where have you been hiding, Christian?" <laughs> and I was like, "Hello, oh, we've been busy." <laughs> Okay, so we are now at the Louis Vuitton exhibit. Let's see if it's worth it. Yes? Yeah. Are you excited? I didn't know they were shopping, so it's already worth it. <laughs> Lots here. Well, that one's interesting. Wayne Stubbs. That looks very impossible. Oh, it that's does. That's great. It's great. The Simps. That's the three-eyed fish. Oh. <laughs> Literally, I was just talking about him. <laughs> this one's cool. This one's very cool. That's cool. I like that one. I would take that, that one today. That looks like the inside of a car from the 70s. Yes. Yeah. But it's also giving Playboy Mansion. Oh, for sure. It's I love car. it. <gasps> this one is very cool. Look at that. The book. I don't know what this is. Mr. Flower Fantastic. Oh, and they're monogram flowers. I like that. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. This, once again, where is the interpretation of trunk here? <laughs> It's the stud that goes into the... Oh, stop. You're right. That was well done. Brilliant. Artistic interpretation there. Brilliant. I know, you should be proud. So, Alice in Wonderland was actually written around the same So that's the significance of that. And this curtain is actually the same grade uh, as the Queen of France, uh, her dress was. And that was one of Louis Vuitton's first clients. So flash forward to today, that lock is still impenetrable and is still a staple to the Louis Vuitton trunks. Oh, wow. So here he is in honor of Louis' son, um, laying up another challenge for Harry Houdini. Love, love, love. That one is just like, uh, it's like jelly. I want to eat it and I want to slap it. You love, you love a jelly. I do love a jelly. It's juicy. And on the lower level, you can create your own trunk. And there is a little pyramid of um, trunks that people have made. Those of us who have come to see and are not um, world renowned artists, I will say that is the cutest thing I've ever seen, and I would buy that today, Christian. And I know that whatever I would produce is going to be awful, so best say. not. Why? Do you want to try? No, well, I don't have the time to, but it would have been really cute for us to sit. And I mean, do it, it, it would have been, it would have been actually, yeah. it would have been a fun activity. Yeah. I wouldn't have done very well at it, but. Okay, so Christian was telling me something that they have at Bergdorf Men's. So I said, oh yes, let's go have a squiz, you know, and... And I, <laughs> and I got it mm -hmm. immediately, but it also sounds like you're looking at something while you're peeing. <laughs> but they do say, oh, I'm going for a whiz or I'm going for a waz in yeah, the UK. okay. Yeah, so I see, I see the interpretation. Well let's, well, let's go for a squiz while you squeeze my weenus. <laughs> I do love your weenus, but it, it's hard to get to during your coat. I, this is a weird little thing I like to do. I like to massage people's weenuses, especially if I feel very close to them. <laughs> we are now in the men's side of Bergdorf. They have a men's section opposite on the other side of the street. And Christian has been going on and on about this wonderful little snack that they've got, which is crisps and creme fraiche with caviar. So let's have a try. I got too excited and I dived in, but this is a great, great, <laughs> delicious, over the top luxury snack. Mm. I love a bougie snack. Mm -hmm. It's all about elevating the everyday experience. Are you video? Are you yes. Video? Mm -hmm. Do you see how I'm doing a fake English accent right now? <laughs> I mean, it's just a very cute tiny it's, card it's a holder. It's tiny bag energy, though. Like, it's... I could carry this around. Like, this is my clutch. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I'll walk around like this. TBE. <laughs> I'm dying. It, it Please... goes with my outfit. Hello. It actually does. Yeah. Please, could you do that? Yeah. I would really appreciate it if you did. And then, remember, I started DBE. Double, Double bag, bag energy. energy. 10 out of 10 top marks for you. Very 
there it is in all of its glory and look at this little projection that they've got it's magical oh it goes up there too oh wow I love it and then we have sex they have their light show but to be honest with you I don't think I've got the patience this evening <laughs> that was a strong no <laughs> I want to do this but I want to do it with gold bow okay do you get the vibes yeah. okay so so far this is the winner all right um I will say can I please show you this why why is a koala with a candy cane a festive <laughs> you you can't just pick any animal and put it with a festive item and it's Christmas well I feel like if you're in Australia yes, yes. but here we are in New York I feel like this does not resonate is it not gonna be about there uh, can we dwell on the fact that you're wearing your coat like this in Target of all places I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready I'm Cassie and you're watching the Disney Channel. Did you spell out Cassie? Did you? No, I did the head, the Mickey Mouse head. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is Tuesday, and today we're going to a Neiman Marcus White Elephant Christmas party. Exciting times. I am not entirely sure what White Elephant is. Not a clue. All I know is that it's at an Italian restaurant, and that in itself makes me happy. This is the event look. Okay, very Christmas party. I do like how it looks. All of that. Yes, we've taped down so nothing should be flying out that we don't know about. Okay, I wanted to do really, really opaque tights with this. Um, everything is, you know what, this is my life, right? Um, and the Valentino platforms, which to be very honest with you, go with everything and have come in far much more handy than I would ever have expected so finishing touches you know I love these they are absolutely phenomenal it feels a bit wrong getting ready for a Christmas party at noon and yet here we are earrings also um I managed to scratch myself and now I have hold on a second I love that it is you know half an hour before the party do you see this I don't know okay Right before a party, it would happen to me. Okay, so we are doing blue and yellow, black for the tights and the shoes. This is very 80s, is it not? And then for the bag. At the Neiman event, and look who showed up. <gasps> Monroe stealing the flesh straight off the, oh! Get the shoulders out. She's She's got the moves already. We're in for a great lunch. I haven't even had a drink. And... Friends now, you might be stealing gifts for <laughs> That's true. Um, I saw you a week ago. I see you every week. Though I do love this blazer. Much fabulous, very much enjoy. Oh, I love. Oh my god. What am I walking into? This is fascinating. Oh, we're very excited to have you here because we wanted to share with you some of the very cool gifts and, you know, little ways you can spoil yourself that are available at Neiman Marcus. Gucci goggles. Gucci goggles. For the snowboarding. Not bad at all. Yes, yes. Oh, you, the... you know what? You could do a fashion week look with that. Oh, shit. Honestly, oh, it's with this blazer. Yeah, she... Honestly, it's with the blazer. Oh, shit, with the blazer. <laughs> when you have a meeting, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I have the slopes at five. You know? <laughs> Karen. Oh, my God. You're great. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what did you get? Jonathan Adler handle and it smells we need smell-o-vision. Oh yeah, we do, we do. I love a good Jonathan Adler. Oh, and is this a mug? Oh, I got a mug for my cup of tea. Fabulous. The World Cup finals. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, it's coming home. It's green <laughs> And then I got this Bottega card holder. I know. However, it was a all crystal Bottega double knot bag in fo footage here. That I stole. So nice. Yes, yes. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch up. Yeah. See you. Bye. Um, but I stole from somebody and then it was promptly stolen away. 
That is the perils of white elephant. This is my first white elephant. So there we go. I really experienced Honestly, it. Honestly, I knew once the handbags came out, it was gonna get me. It was gonna be a free one. Hi, it's Wednesday, and I am going to Chase Bank because I need to open up another account, and because I do not have a US form, like an issued US, issued by the US form of ID, I have to go in store every time. It is also miserable outside, so the perfect excuse for Chanelis. Okay, so I am going to go do that, then, I don't know, maybe, maybe pick up, maybe pick up a, a coffee or a Starbucks or something as a little treat, drink or something. Then I'm going to, I need to plan videos and then I have a meeting at 2.30 video and I'm going to do that in our like, on the, there's like a common area in here in this building and I like to go there because I have no distractions. Um, just to recap on yesterday, I, when I got there, I was like, I feel very naked in my hands. And I realized that I'd taken my rings off and I'd left them here, which I hardly ever do because um, I was using hand cream. I was like, oh, let me, let me put a bit of hand cream on. I took my rings off and in my flusteredness, I forgot to put them back on. And yes, so I felt very, I felt un me. this week's vlog ends on Wednesday and let me tell you why. So I had a meeting on Wednesday that sort of brought me down a bit, mainly because I felt as though I had like been built up a lot into thinking what was going to happen out of these talks. And then um, it, it, it didn't turn out the way we were talking about. So that made me feel really defeated and all of that. And then um, I didn't want to feel, <laughs> not to worry. Next week's vlog, we've got Christmas Spectacular. We've got Christmassy things, but um, there will be two visitors that we're currently having in the vlog, which is Daryl, who is Nee's cousin and Remy, his girlfriend. So yes, they're staying with us. And last night, so I'm filming this on Saturday, a Friday night, we went to, um, the Broadway Comedy Club, which is quickly becoming my favourite place. I, I've i only been to a comedy club twice and it's the same one, right? I love it. You feel like you're on the judging panel of Britain or America's Got Talent. Your laugh means the world. And um, I was absolutely howling. There was only one person that was like, I wasn't that great last night, um, but it's great. And I highly recommend if you're in New York to go. They have shows a lot, like three in a night or something. Anyway, so that was great. But I will see you in next week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.